In tonight's ransom note, the TVA's plan for that coal ash pond in southwest Memphis. Today, TVA announced it will remove the coal ash, from which leaking arsenic could threaten our drinking water. It's one of the most dangerous coal ash landfills in the country, left over from the power plant that closed a while back. But even the TVA admits it could take months or maybe years for the cleanup to begin. It's also not sure how much it will cost or if MLGW customers might be asked to help pay for it. One thing we do know is it won't be cheap and we cannot risk it taking the estimated 20 years. Now, about the trip to the TVA in Chattanooga this week by three city council members and six MLGW executives. Last night I was critical of the two on council and MLGW for flying through Atlanta to Chattanooga rather than just making the five hour drive. Tonight, MLGW corrected the record. Their people did drive. But as we told you earlier, Councilman Jones defended his airline ticket, saying it gave him more time for city business. But we're still not sure really how. Join the conversation by email or my Facebook and Twitter pages. Katina?